Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a mixed media layout and I am starting off with Jessa Wing, my white American craft cardstock. And this layout is complete inspiration from the lovely Paige Evans and our Missy Whedon of the scrapbooking community. She recently did a video where she took just four stencils that were six by six and went through her stencils with modeling paste or light paste or whatever you do have on hand with um, and left it white. Um, I'm going with these Finnabar uh, light paste and I'm using these um, four stencils that I have in my collection and I unfortunately don't remember the brands for any of these but if I can I will try to leave it in the description box but I swear for especially my six by six I kind of use my stencil and throw out the packaging and then they're just loose in my um, top drawer of my desk and so I never keep track. Some of them I was conscious and I did put the name down with like a sharpie marker on the edge but I don't see any names on these. I'm sorry but I will see if I can find them and if I do I'll leave them in the description box. So clearly um, I, well obviously all I'm doing is taking these four stencils and using modeling paste and then uh, for an added effect she didn't do this part but I went ahead and put glitter on it. This one's called Glitz and it's just by Recollections. It's available at Michaels and it's just kind of a white opal glitter and w you can do this technique when it was still wet. So um, on there you'll see like like on this checkered squares, there's not so much glitter, but like on the, I think the hearts I did last, that one has the most glitter. So it's, if you know you're going to put glitter on your wet modeling paste, do it when it's still wet is my word of advice. <laughs> <laughs> so Missy also took her shimmer paints that she had in her collection and for me I have four colors so the first one I used there was called um, Berrylicious then the light purple one that's in the corner is called Orchid Strata then the pink that was just done last was um, Magenta and the gold is Marigold now I did the the four big blocks um, of color and I didn't like the way it looked so just, so similar to Missy as well I go ahead and add more white gesso to the top to mute down the color but leaving it still vibrant in the center so that I have like them concentrated there then what I did too is take one doily and a few ephemera pieces that were cut from my silhouette um, and use the same matching color so that I at least had one um, piece of um, how do you say, like embellishments that matched each section perfectly. Um, and so a lot of it right now is just color blocking. So I literally dumpster dive, or not dumpster, stash dive into everything and pick out anything that was kind of an orangey gold, a pink, a light purple, or like a mauvey purple. And that's how I also kind of color block this. Now this I did with just tissue paper and you saw me just use two pieces of like um, double-sided tape. And thing is though, I liked what I did when I had the intention of doing that, but most of it gets covered up so you can skip that step of the ruffled paper behind it but you do see it peek through a few spots um but like I said you can skip that part or do it as well um but I think I want to do another layout where I just like really use some tissue paper and have a nice like ruffled background because I just kind of got inspired by watching me do that again even though you can't see it in this layout <laughs> <laughs> so like I said, I am completely going stash diving. So I picked out, went through all my little dishes on my desk and anything that was pink, purple, um, light purple, or like an orangey gold or orangey yellow color, I just picked and am using for this layout. And it worked out good. I mean, honestly, you know, it's kind of funny for me right now. It's the first time, not the first time, I mean, um, but I find myself now that I'm getting back into scrapbooking after becoming a new mom and kind of taking being MIA for a while I'm not on any design teams right now so I don't have to um play with specific product I can just really use my stash which I haven't been able to do in quite some time so it's kind of refreshing so the next couple of videos that you see from me are just seriously using my stash which obviously I've been doing this for years is extensive but it's nice to kind of see some oldie but goodies you know and so that's what I kind of like about um, this time period right now so I do add a few my picture you saw me add some fun foam behind it I do add some fun foam behind a few pieces so that there's a little bit of an interest on in layers and texture on my layout um, some of these pieces are from Studio Calico, some ephemera packs from like Simple Stories. I think I see one from, um, what was it called, Wildflowers. There's like an Amy Tangerine rubber piece I see. There's a flare button, which I don't know where the flare button came from. That little like flat back brad was um, a Simple Stories at Sunshine collection from a few summers ago. 
I see that donut and that popsicle. I think that was from Serendipity and that was a Dear Lizzie collection like back in the day. So like I said, I'm really using my stash right now. Um, I'm even using some Spiegel Mom scrap sequins right now. So again, the sequins that I find, I match them into the corners that they are. And then I have this Love Wood Veneer. I do believe this is from the Crepe Paper Wonder collection. I have this piece still, but I, to be honest, I had, I think I brought that pack twice. So I'm just covering it in white cheap acrylic paint and I'm going to go over and sprinkle it with the same white glitter that you saw me use um, on the modeling piece and that will wrap up my um, layout. I am scrapping a picture of me pregnant so that was an old one but it went really well with this layout. Thank you as always for joining me and spending some time with me. Till next time. Bye.